So what makes a mark on my Australia? Well, I guess bushfires, droughts, flooding rains, and cane toads. Nah, but that's just being silly. Surely it's got to be sporting heroes. The Don, Farlap, Thorpey, Cadell Evans, Shane Gould, Casey Stoner, Rafter, Hewitt, Fraser, Freeman, Stephen Bradbury. But that's kind of lame and cliched. I mean, what about the environment? The Nullarbor, Pilbara, Lake Edge, Inderbine, Uluru, the Adelaide Hills, the Kimberley Ranges, Bonnie Doon, the Daintree Rainforest, the Great Barrier Reef, Sydney Harbour, Tasmania, Bondi. But what about something more cultural? Dog painting, the Heidelberg School, Banjo Patterson, Kylie Minogue, ACDC, Barry Humphreys, Paul Hogan, Chris Lilly, Blanchard, Jackman, Rush, Steve Owen, The Wiggles, Mad Max, Sausage Sizzles, Tim Winton, Vegemite. See, I don't reckon that quite cuts it either. What about the bad stuff? The Aboriginal genocide, the mistreatment of convicts, the Eureka Stockade, the White Australia policy, the stolen generation, the forgotten Australians, the Vietnam War, losing Harold Holt, the Cronulla riots, and Kyle Sanderlands. But what about the good stuff? Our achievements, our inventions? The world's first democracy by democracy, the secret vote, the boomerang, the didgeridoo, the boomerang, the Australian merino, the notepad, the electric drill, powered flight, penicillin, the world's first feature film, and the winged keel. Yeah, take that, America. The army tank, the ute, the black box, ultrasound, cask wine, the cochlear implant, spray on skin, Wi-Fi internet, the lamington. And I bet you thought it was just the clothesline. See, I don't think you can ever say it's just one thing or one person which makes Australia the way it is. Good, bad, old or new, it takes everyone from the local shopkeeper to our world leading artists and scientists to make this one of the greatest places on earth to live. So an even better question to ask ourselves is, what mark will I, will we leave on Australia?